Hello viewers, how are you all? Hope you are doing well. So today I have come with an another interesting new video of our three dimensional geometry lecture series, lecture number 30. So today we are going to find the angle between a line and a given plane. So as a result, first we will understand the whole outline of the theory with the help of real life mathematical models. So today I am going to use these two things as our mathematical models. This red book we consider as plain and this beautiful wooden model made of CPT code will be treated as line. So our main objective today is to find the angle if we put this plane like that and if we put the line like that our objective today is to find the angle between this line and the plane. Suppose this angle is phi. Now we claim that the angle between the line and the plane is nothing but the complement of the angle between the normal to the plane and the given line. Now what is normal to the plane? As we have discussed in our previous lecture, lecture number 20, equation of a plane in normal form is r vector dot n vector equal to d then from if you go through my previous lecture then you can easily understand that if we put the plane like in this manner then n vector is the normal to the plane and its direction must be like this that is perpendicular to this plane now our given line is has been put in this manner so let us consider the angle between this n vector that is normal to the plane and this line is theta then what is the complement of this angle theta it is nothing but this remaining angle that is 90 minus theta see here again this 90 minus theta is nothing but the angle phi what we have considered as the angle between this plane and this line so our claim is true that the angle between the given line and this plane that is phi is nothing but the complement of the angle complement of the angle between this normal to the plane and the line so here again you can see subtraction plays its important role so class 12 mathematics we assume as tough but nothing is tough only subtraction, if you understand only subtraction, then you can understand class 12 mathematics also. Our brains, more specifically, you can say our thinking makes mathematics complex, but nothing is complex, everything is very easy. So, now as we have seen, this angle between these two line and plane, that is, this angle phi, is nothing but the complement of the angle between the normal to the plane and this given line. So that's all from the mathematical model part. Now we will understand the whole proof deeply with the diagrams in the blackboard. So let without wasting any time, let's go to the blackboard. So now angle between the line and the plane. So first we will draw the diagrams. Here in green color, I have drawn the plane say phi 1. In red color, I have drawn the line say L. So let and do let equation of line L B r vector equal to a vector plus lambda times b vector say so equation 1 this is the equation of a line passing through a given point whose position vector is a vector and parallel to a given vector b vector what we have discussed in our earlier lectures lecture number 7 so my humble request to you if you come directly to this lecture 30 then first go through my all previous lectures especially lecture 7 and lecture 20 then come to this lecture then everything you can understand very easily nothing is there so equation of the line will be this and equation let equation of the plane 
pi 1 d r vector dot n vector equal to d. This is the equation of a plane in normal form. So now as this a n vector must be perpendicular to this plane. So this is the direction of n vector. Now this line L is parallel to B vector. Here I have drawn this B vector. Now we are going to find this much angle. Say this angle is phi. That is phi is the angle between line L and the plane. Now in the diagram we have considered this much angle is theta. That is theta is the angle between the normal and the line. Now as theta is the angle between the normal to the plane in vector and the line. So this much angle is 90 minus theta undo. 90 minus theta that is complement of the angle theta. So 90 minus theta is nothing but the angle phi. Therefore phi equal to 90 minus theta where phi is the angle between the plane and plane pi 1 and line L. So phi is 90 minus theta. Now here this line L is parallel to B vector. So angle between this n vector and the line L is same as angle between the n vector and the b vector because line L is parallel to b vector. So therefore here theta is the angle between the line L or b vector say or b vector with the normal vector b vector n vector sorry undo uh, n vector okay not n cap n vector so here cos theta equal to what using the concept of dot product we can derive it very easily so cos theta equal to b vector dot n vector by b vector magnitude n vector magnitude so this is the we have derived cos theta. Now, sin phi is what? Sin phi is sin 90 minus theta because here in previous page you can see phi is yellow color, phi is 90 minus theta. So, from here we can easily write this is nothing but cos theta. Here I have applied this thing all sin tan cos formula from class 11 trigonometry so here 1 into 90 degree so it turns to cos and it remains 90 minus theta means in the first quadrant so cos theta so cos theta equal to what therefore sin phi equal to cos theta equal to what b vector dot n vector by b vector magnitude n vector magnitude so therefore phi equal to sin inverse undo sin inverse b vector dot n vector by b vector magnitude n vector magnitude so we are done proof this is the angle between the given line and this plane so now we will see a application of this beautiful theory what we have studied right now so without wasting any time go to the next slide see find the angle between the line and the plane first we will put this equations in vector form otherwise you can directly write the components okay uh, from the equation one this is the uh, say line equation one plane is say equation two so from take blue from equation of line one we get p vector 
because now you are at lecture number 30 if you go through my previous lectures then you can easily write down or pen down the b vector directly from the question no need to convert this to vector form right you are smart enough you are smart enough i know so b equal to i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap here is the this equation is in the form x minus x1 by a equal to y minus b by y minus y1 by b z minus z1 by c in this form so a b c are nothing but the direction ratios of the vector b vector which is parallel to the line so here b vector i have write down so now from equation of plane to we get n vector normal vector to the normal vector to the plane n vector equal to what 10 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 11 k cap so sin phi equal to b vector dot n vector by b vector magnitude n vector magnitude whole magnitude okay so b vector dot n vector means here 10 into 2 20 3 into 2 6 minus 66 by b vector magnitude is what root 4 plus 9 plus 36 and n vector magnitude is what 100 plus 4 plus 121 so here we have in our hand 66 minus 26 so here 40 and by here 36 14 to 7 into here 121 221 225 square root means 15 so if we simplify 3 8 so 8 by 21 so go to the next page 5 equal to sign inverse 8 by 21 so answer so we are done so we have reached to the end of today's video hope you have enjoyed today's video a lot so my humble request again to you please go through my previous lectures especially lecture number 20 and 7 then come to this lecture lecture number 30 you can get everything very easily what I am talking about in this lecture. Thank you.